hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you my python script that i written using google drive api so this python script allows you to use it inside the command line whereby you can basically upload any file download any file or you can read all files which are present inside your google drive so you can see that we have used google drive api we have written a class here and this is the whole python script here and for that you need to basically get your credentials.json file so i have given this python script in the description of the video you can just purchase this full python script let me show you how to basically now get your credentials.json file so after you get this file guys you will get the zip file after you purchase it from stripe.com the link is given in the description you do need to basically create this credentials.json file so how you need to do that first of all just go to google cloud console so google cloud console here you need to create your credentials json file so after you go to it you need to go to api services and here you need to enable the google drive api so just search for this api which is google drive api and just enable this api right here just click enable here so this api will get enabled right here so after the api is enabled what we need to do right here we need to go to uh, manage credentials and uh, go to credentials here and then you need to go click create credentials and here you need to select oauth client id this will be a oauth uh, basically application where we will create the access token so here in the application type you need to se select here desktop app because it's a desktop application it is it will be running in the command line simply select that click on create so now it will create your client id and client secret and here you need to click this button download json so all this information will be contained and now let me simply cut this file and paste it right here inside my working directory so you also need to do the same thing here so just paste this file right here let me delete this file and rename this file you can rename to anything but inside my code i renamed this to credentials so just do it right like this so if you just now see guys it basically contains all your information which is the client id project id auth uri so this will be different for you so don't copy my information so once you create this credentials.json file guys you don't do uh, don't want to do anything inside your python script you just need to run this python script right here so now what i will do guys i will simply type here python app.py so once this python script runs guys so what should happen it will redirect you to the consent screen where basically you can uh, select your google account so it is allowing me to select this account so as this app is not verified you just need to click advance here and click on go to project like this so it will now allow for the permissions you need to simply continue to grant the permission so now it is saying the authentication flow has been completed so you may close this window i can close this window and now you will see guys a token dot pickle file has been generated so basically which will contain your all your access token so now it has gone to my google drive guys you will see that and it has read all the google files which are present inside my google drive you can see that so it will also do you for your own google drive account it will go it will entirely search your google drive account and it will list out all the files which are present right here inside your google drive so now it is giving me two options here either we can upload a new file or we can download a file so let's suppose i choose the first option here i now need to enter my file id file id is nothing but guys you can basically this is actual file id so you can simply directly copy paste from here let me control c and we can control v and we can just enter the file name which is file.pptx so it is requesting to download this file so basically it will take some time so now guys you will see in the uh, here in the command line it shows something went wrong but you will see in the command uh, in the left hand side the file has been successfully downloaded if i open this file this is a pptx file here powerpoint presentation file here 
it is successfully downloaded so you can see it is working perfectly fine and I can download this PDF file here let's suppose I want to download this PDF file so once again I will run this Python script it will search I will open I can enter a file ID here you can also manually uh, go to Google Drive and copy the file ID control C and whatever name that you want to give let's suppose I give uh, this file name so now it is uh, basically downloading the file so it will take some time guys my internet is little bit slow so that's why it is taking a lot of time here I think I have written a wrong file name that's why it is taking a lot of time let me change that name here sorry let me run the python script once again it will list out and you do need to write the same name that is right here so what I will do is that it is a fun little application guys you will get to know the understandings how the Google Auth works how to grant access to your to get access token so it's a very good application in Python file name I can write so now the file download process should work I think guys my internet is little bit slow here that's why it is not the first one was working which I showed you file.pptx now let me show you the basically the upload part if you want to basically upload a file how we can do that process so if I let suppose I have a file here uh, which is uh, I need to upload let's suppose this image file that I need to upload here I will simply cut this file and uh, simply paste it here I can read this is actual file which I need to upload so what I will do is that I will simply select the second option upload file so you need to put the path of the file it is present inside the same directory so it is saying file uploaded so upload process is pretty simple now you can even check your Google Drive and if I go to my drive you just need to refresh here and now you can see that guys download jfi5 this is the actual image which is uploaded right here so this uh, we have successfully uploaded this file here you can see that so we can simply copy the link as well this is actual link of the file and let's suppose if I want to download this file so what I can do I can select the first option and I can simply copy the ID this is the ID that if you don't know ID of the file so you just need to copy the ID and then give the file name which is download jfff so if you now see this file has been successfully downloaded if I delete this file I think it was previously present python by first option this is id So now you can see uh, this file was successfully downloaded download jff 5 this is actual image so both the operations guys upload and download are working and also we are getting the list of files which are present alongside with their IDs and the name of the files as well so you can pretty much modify this python script you can add some more functionalities it was just a 
base script that I am giving you guys for a very reasonable price. The link is given. So basically, we are uh, writing the scopes here. This is actual scopes that we are writing. You can add some more scopes. So this is just a command line application. Sometimes you do need to basically uh, work inside the command line. You don't need a web application for this. So this is the script. So thank you very much guys for watching this video and I will be seeing you in the next video.